Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series and in this video we're going to be looking at the process to actually upgrade a light account. So without further ado let's cross over to the IBM Cloud console. Okay so here I am in the dashboard of a brand new account. In fact this is a, a light account. Because it's a light account I'm restricted to you know what I can do in it. So I can use light services but it's really designed to enable you to try out IBM Cloud and some of the IBM Cloud services. So hopefully um, you'll have discovered some cool things that you can do and uh, you want to um, you know, move on and go beyond light services. So let's have a look at the steps uh, to actually upgrading your account. Remember, um, you can upgrade to either a pay-as-you-go account or pay-go account uh, where you typically enter credit card information and uh, you'll then build via your card each month for your usage. Uh, or you can purchase a, sub a subscription account where you make a monthly spending and term commitment and in return you actually then get some discounted pricing as well. Now if you opt for a subscription account uh, then you'll need to talk to a member of the IBM Cloud sales team uh, and if you don't already have a contact then the easiest way to get in touch is via the chat facility. So to access that uh, most easily I tend to hit the catalogue and uh, then down in the bottom right hand corner here there's a little button here which is uh, for the chat facility and then I can uh, go on and start to uh, to actually talk to talk to the sales team within uh, within IBM just by sending them a message and um, all you need to do there is just say hi you know I'm interested in a, in a subscription account and uh, they'll start talking so once you've done that um, if you purchase a subscription then you'll get a code so what you do with that code is go to uh, manage and then account and then if you go uh, uh, down to account settings uh, and just scroll down here you can see there's a subscription and feature codes section here so if you just click apply code you can then enter the code into there so it'll be your subscription and then click apply and then your uh, account will be upgraded now from time to time IBM might also provide other um, discount codes uh, for, for accounts. So similarly, if you ever get a discount code, um, then you can effectively put it into exactly the same place. So under feature codes, click apply code, enter the code in there, and then just click apply, and that will unlock uh, whatever discount or capability that you might get through that through that code. Now, if you're after a PayGo account, then again, the process is, is really, really simple. So just click um, upgrade account. So there's, there's there's one here. So again, if you go to uh, manage um, account and then to account settings, uh, you can add your credit card from there. Uh, but also, um, if you're in your dashboard, you'll also see there's this upgrade account link as well. So whichever place you're in, and there are other places where this will probably pop up within the account as well, just click on the link. Uh, and then you can uh, actually enter your billing information. So if you're a personal user, then uh, you can put in your, your personal details, so your name, uh, typically your address, and uh, then your credit card information. Uh, for me, I can choose a, a payment currency between United States dollars and, and pound sterling. Um, it may be different wherever, wherever you're living. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so it's going to give me a pound sterling off, offer. Um, and if I'm a, a company account, then I just choose that radio. And really the difference then is that I can enter a VAT ID. So here in the UK, companies might be VAT registered. Um, so I can put my uh, my VAT information in there also that I'm VAT exempt. But again, that may differ depending on which country you're in. So I'm not actually going to put any details in here. First of all, I don't really want to reveal my details on screen. Um, but again, it, it's very simple to do. Just click the, uh, the accept button and then click next and away it will go and process your details. Now the other great thing, um, if you do actually decide to upgrade your account to a Paygo, um, is that um, you're also given a, a free credit typically. So at the time of recording, um, it's a $200 free credit. So basically that $200 is added to your account and then you can start to use um, services, uh, paid for services, uh, and, and it will actually burn down that credit over a period of time. Now, of course, when you do actually upgrade to a pay-as-you-go account, uh, you can still continue to use all of the, the light services, and they still stay free of charge. Uh, but you can also unlock other free tier services as well in the catalogue, uh, and that's in addition, of course, to all of the paid services. 
So you can explore further, uh, but by keeping an eye on the services that you're using uh, and, and the usage stats, it's still really easy to control your costs. So we'll cover some of that in the next video, as well as some other um, setup steps that you can do with a paid account. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel for lots more videos. But in the meantime, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.